So you want to charge your electrical devices or have a power outlet on the front of your Harley? Well, I'm going to show you how to fit this, which is really simple. Pick them up anywhere. Yeah, let's get into it. Revelator L. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. Hope you enjoying the channel and the series of videos. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Check out the website revelatoralpha.com. So I've got one of these uh, three-in-one chargers off uh, the old internet, and uh, you can pick them up anywhere. But what I like about it is that it's waterproof. Uh, it's also got two USB uh, chargers here. Now these will put out at five volts at 2.1 amps each, uh, which is enough for charging mobile phones and that kind of thing. It's got an isolator switch on it as well. Uh, and also it's fused which is good it's always good to have extra fuses uh, on any kind of power outlet also uh, it's got a cigar lighter port as well and this is a 12 volt port now many of you might be thinking well that's a bit old-fashioned isn't it the reason i went for this even though most electrical devices now are not running off cigar lighters actually a few are still and also if you've got let's say like a tire inflator that you're going to carry with you most of those are powered uh, by a cigar lighter or if that uh, tire inflator doubles up as a as a power bank let's say for your electrical devices the only way to charge that up whilst you're on the road is via cigar lighter uh, the other way is by uh, household mains uh, supply so anyway, having this is going to be really helpful. If you've got an airbed inflator, that kind of thing, usually they are powered by a cigar lighter 12 volt supply. So well worth having. Now, uh, I'm on my Harley, as you know, and uh, basically you could either have this uh, connected directly to uh, the battery. You could have this uh, via a, an isolator switch, something like that. I've already got a uh, 12 volt supply from the front here. So if you watch my other video up there about getting a 12 volt supply from your USB port, uh, it's right up there. So all I'm gonna do is mount this uh, to the top here, just beneath the handlebars, out of sight, out of mind, connect these uh, two wires with the fuse to the two wires that I've already got uh, waiting for me under there. And uh, there we go. Right, let me just do that. Right, all connected up, all hidden behind the fairing, uh, nice and close to the handlebars, just the way I like it. And uh, well, lots of power outlets uh, for my electricals or anything that I need to charge up whilst, uh, whilst I'm riding along. Perfect. Personally, I kind of like these uh, three-in-one charging uh, outlets, uh, the different options available. On this particular bike, there is a USB outlet just on the other side, uh, just uh, around about here uh, on the other side. However, I think it's just uh, open to the elements a bit too much, uh, especially when you're riding, you've got something connected to it. However, this is behind the fairing and I like it. It's going to be waterproof when the covers are on. It's still going to be waterproof-ish uh, when uh, the covers are off and you've got something connected as well. Right. But anyway, that's all uh, done. Now uh, on to the next project the link is in the description for this as well but you can pick these up anywhere don't forget to subscribe like and share check out the website revelator.com and i'll catch you again Ta -da.